Now we want to get to a family in mourning tonight, grieving the loss of their loved one. A Sacramento man shot and killed by police in Idaho. But police admit Joe Johnson was shot by mistake. Tonight, his family gathering in his honor. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13's Heather Jansen is live in Citrus Heights, where family met to share their sentiments. Heather? Yeah, they met here at the Sunrise Mall, a place where I'm told Joe Johnson met his wife long before they moved to Idaho together. Tonight, family are very hurt by this situation while also just wanted to come together and celebrate a man they're now hailing a hero. Lighting up the sky for the man that brightened up their life. He was a very respectful, hardworking family man. Patricia Sanford remembering her nephew Joe Johnson, who earlier this month was shot and killed by police in his Idaho Falls backyard by mistake. Police say he was holding a gun in his backyard as a suspect ran loose in his neighborhood. And all he was doing was protecting his family. He got shot. <laughs> Sorry. It's just not right. Emotional. I'm heartbroken and I'm angry. His father, Chuck Johnson, clutches on to his most prized possession, a handwritten Father's Day gift from 1989. My house catches on fire. This is what's going with me. Pictures of Joe growing up in Sacramento scattered across a table, his smile described as contagious. You could tell by the look on his face that he was in love. Family wondering how tragedy like this can happen, but say if there's one thing they know to be true, it's this. My nephew died a hero. Heartbroken and healing, a family still waiting for answers. Well, Idaho Falls police also said the day that this happened, they were deeply hurt by this tragedy as well. This incident is still being investigated. There haven't been any new updates within recent weeks. Family police tell me, or families say police have not given them any updates either.